Hey everyone, Casey here from Clientric. Today I want to show you how you can add new applications to your Zoho One account. When you first sign up, you're only given a little taste of all the applications that you can have access to. So you have to go through and add each of them individually. This is rather time consuming, but unfortunately it's a step we have to take. So in order to get us there, we want to go to the one.zoho.com admin portal. So let's just do that now. This gets us here to our demo account. And inside here, you can see that these are the applications we have access to at this point in time. You don't see all 40 plus different apps that come with the Zoho One bundle. So we have to go in and add those individually. So we have to first click this admin panel here. Once we're inside, we can click the applications tab on the left hand side as well. So we can click that and we want to add a new application. Let's say in this case, we want to send out contracts using sign Zoho sign. So we go through all of these different applications. You see there's a ton here and let's click add down here on Zoho sign for the e-signatures. Now, some applications require a bit more information before they can be set up. For example, Zoho books asks, what country are you from? So that helps set it up depending on the bookkeeping that is required for that, that country. Now we can, we know that Zoho sign has been added successfully, so we can click okay which is awesome. You can then go and add more if you like, but in our case, I want to make sure that all the members have been added. So in Zoho sign, you can see that there's one user, which is me and my demo account. But if I want to add new users, I can click assign users up here. So if I had more users in my account, I could choose a user and I could choose a role they would be associated with. Now this will be different for each, each application. Now, after that, you can actually just click assign and it's that easy. That individual will now be assigned to that application and they can log in. However, there are two other tabs up here you should be aware of. There is the group, which allows you to assign a group to a application. And there is everyone, which allows you to create rules on who can actually access it. So you don't have to click individually. These are generally used more for larger organizations. So you probably won't need it, but it's something to be aware of. And at the end of the day, that's, that's pretty much it. That's how you add in new applications. And this is how you administer them is from this tab. So you can click, a, click around, get familiar with it. Let us know if you have any questions. We're more than happy to help out whenever we can. And I hope you have a wonderful day.